So long as I can build a ramp that doesn't fall apart, then I think I've nailed this one. That looks pretty good. I, I can't imagine that you guys are easily gonna be able to crush that. Nope, and you land it. <laughs> and he's just gonna chug along. He is gonna get to the end of the ramp, right? Yeah, I, I think he's going at a steady clip. <laughs> All he's gotta do now is stick the landing. Oh, sweet God. Oh, thank you. No! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Polybridge 2. That game that really plays fast and loose with the term bridge. <laughs> they were supposed to make it to the flag for the joke that I have prepared. Okay, you know what, this is fine. This is a great way to start the episode because today we're gonna keep a positive mental attitude. We're gonna look at the bright side of things. Technically, all the kids survived. They're just gonna be riding a shorter bus for the next bridge. What kind of back word scenario have we found ourselves in to start this off? Like, do you see what I mean? This has nothing to do with building a bridge. They gave us like four feet of road to span a river the size of a football field. And we can't even build a ramp in all reality because there is no connection point over on the vehicle side of things. Like, I just have to assume that this is Chris Angel and he came to us and said, listen, I want to mind freak people with my new dune buggy and a hot air balloon. No idea how, you figure it out. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you, Mr. Angel. I have no sweet clue where to start with this. I'm thinking we just run it and see what happens. Worst case scenario, what, he drowns? Or severe concussion and then drowns? <laughs> okay, not a complete waste. If anything, that's really interesting because it looks like he can clear about 80% of the jump on his own. So, in all reality, we only need to get him about 20% of the way there. What if we tried a little something like this? Oh, it's so close. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna have to do a second tinier jump, Chris. Do you think you can handle that? I'm sure everything will turn out fine. I know fine is probably not the effect you're looking for here, but in all reality, the show is what? 80% special effects? He can make 80% of the jump, and then I'll just fix it in post. <laughs> I'm sure we'll mind freak someone. I mean, at the very least, we'll mind freak your dentist once he has to pull that steering wheel out from between your teeth. Now, come on, Chris. You can do this. I believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that is going to make for a great episode. Oh, my God. Mind Freak's last episode was 10 years ago. <laughs> I, I can only imagine how many people are going to be watching this video having no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm such a boomer. Well, isn't this just great? We've gone from me having no idea what the bridge is supposed to be to having no idea what the vehicle is. Like, I've never seen something like this before in my life. It looks like some kind of weird six-wheeled bus, except it may or may not be able to bend in the middle. I don't know why a bus would want to bend in the middle. <laughs> that being said, I do want to test this out. Like, if I was trying here, I would probably build a bridge that looks something like this. You know, have a nice smooth arch connected on three points so that it can evenly distribute the weight and stuff like that, but that's no fun. It, that's definitely not going to have any bending. I want to make it so that either the bus buckles or the bridge does. So we're going to have a nice sharp point up here at the middle and see what that does for you. It's honestly gotten to the point where when they ask me to build a straightforward bridge, it, it feels like a trap. You know, like they're trying to trick me into doing something that I'm not supposed to do because that's all this is. It, it's just a bridge. It's got a bit of a hump in the middle, but it should be fine. Maybe we'll spring for just a little bit of metal because you do look like a beefy boy, Mr. Bus. Yeah, something like that. Now, are you going to bend or is the bridge gonna bend or maybe both bridge is definitely bending but not breaking for the bus <laughs> yeah 98.7 percent i swear like half of these levels end above 98 it's just ridiculous 
And just like that, the straightforward bridges are gone, and I'm back to getting cross-eyed just looking at all this. Like, we've got Monster Truck A, who wants to get to Flag A, except for some reason he can't just go straight there. First, he's gotta go all the way to the other side of the river to A1, and then turn around to get A2, and then somehow turn around again and go up to A3, before turning around again and getting down to the flag A. How is that even possible? Am I gonna have to build some kind of like loop-de-loop -loop in the middle? And what does boat B impede? Is it safe to say that I've wasted half an hour of my life knowing full well that there is no chance this is gonna work? Like, I just can't think of any other way of doing this. The idea is the monster truck should be able to drive across the top bridge to get to A1, then top bridge is gonna explode. I'm telling you guys that right now because it's by design. I need it out of the way so that the truck can turn around and then make its way to A2, where it's then gonna hit the loop-de-loop -loop up to A3 before ramping off of A3 through the loop-de-loop -loop to the final flag. That is what I fully expect not to happen <laughs> because something is gonna go wrong. It always does. It already has. Like, I'm already $10,000 over budget. This is already a failure. <laughs> I just wanna see it work so badly. I mean, Top Ridge looks pretty sturdy until it falls apart, like I said, by design. Controlled demolition, everything else is still perfectly fine. Now you're gonna turn around and make your way to A2. Good, then you're gonna hit the loop-de-loop. -loop. What kind of limp dick monster truck can't do a backflip, you puffy tired Judas? What are you willing to bet it doesn't matter which order he gets these objectives in? What if he could get A3 first, then A1, then A2, before finally finishing? Because if that ends up being the case, then I have been overthinking things just a bit. <laughs> I really do try my best to make big brain moves in these videos, but I end up being completely oblivious. Even though, I gotta say, I really do like this design. I think this is kind of ingenious, because now I don't need to mess around with iron, or, or with hydraulics, or ropes, or cables, or springs, or loop-de-loops, or breakaway bridges. <laughs> Like, I don't even really need to make four bridges. I, I can just make two. You drive over the top and then through them. This one looks a little bit wonky. Not quite symmetrical, but you know what? I think it would work. We'll find out soon enough, that's for sure, because if he can drive over the top of them, then he should be able to drive through them just as easily. Oh yeah, not even at 50%. So all he has to do is Stick the roll, he is coming back, isn't he? Okay, good. <laughs> it's fair enough that these things probably have the turning radius of an aircraft carrier, but all I need you to do is come back and get to the flag and have it count, and then everything will be fine. Oh my god. <laughs> that was like an hour of my life. You see, one minute they give you $90,000, which is a like triple your budget, everything is going great, and then the next, you have to get midday traffic across a cruise ship. And they can't possibly wait, they gotta go right now, so you better get to building whatever it is you're gonna build. I'm thinking we probably wanna make two bridges, and I want one of them to look something like that. And then the second one can probably just go straight across. We might even be able to suspend the lower one from the upper one. If that's the case, like, I could save a lot of money here. This is gonna be an exercise in being cheap, because 90 grand up for grabs is a lot. There's a strong possibility that these are gonna collapse under their own weight, so, like, before the vehicles even get to start their engines. But for $37,000 in my pocket, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Kinda like the risk that sports car took by gunning it before checking to see if there was a bridge there. I guess it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to suspend the lower bridge from the upper bridge if the upper bridge is falling down. <laughs> so maybe I need to do a little something like this? What if I support you this way, and then support you this way? Would that be enough? I can't imagine that would be enough. Okay, that that's pretty, can you slow down? Oh, this is your fault, their blood is on your hand. 
Again, not the optimal result, but I really do feel like we're getting there. Maybe we just need to try a little something like this. We could even then just use wood here in all reality. We don't have too far of a distance to span. Is that cheaping out too much? Am I cheaping out on the most important part of the bridge? No, I'm sure that will not be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that it was exactly that piece of wood that exploded. The people on this cruise ship must be so confused. Fine then, you know what, you want metal? I'll give you metal, I'll give you all the metal in the world, and so help me God, if you fall apart again, I am going to lose my mind. <laughs> that should be all right. I, I don't suppose I could like, do a little something like this, oh. Yeah, that might help quite a bit. I don't really want to spend my last 8,000 doing the other side of the bridge, but once they get past the cruise liner, that's what matters most, right? <laughs> Come on, that's gotta be good enough. I mean, it's, it's looking pretty good, or at least it was until we sent the bus through the buffet. You're breaking my balls here, guys. Couldn't you have taken the scenic route just once? Like, did you really need to get home 15 minutes early today? Was it worth it? I doubt it. I mean, this technically cost me $11,000 less. I'm somehow saving money on what I think is a better design. Okay, I like it. Let's see how this works. That guy's always gonna be perfectly fine. Okay. We, we've made it to the dangerous end of the bridge. Jesus Christ. Could we maybe put these kids on a diet? All right, you know what, this is it. And when I say this is it, I don't mean that this is guaranteed to work. I mean, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna rage quit. <laughs> Look, I'll even use a little rope, right? I'll rope you to there. Why? I don't know, I just need a little good luck rope. I need a little anything in my life. Just please do anything other than break apart. You can just speed along, OJ, not everything is about you. The children are the future. <gasps> Please, children, don't screw me. <laughs> don't take that out of context. Not now, not during my victory. <laughs> oh my God. I forgot how frustrating this game is and how you could spend like a half an hour to an hour trying to beat one stupid level. Have you ever been in your car driving home from work or maybe in a cab going down to the bar and then thought to yourself, I wonder if I'm gonna get hit by a plane today. No, I didn't think so. So why do I have to deal with this? <laughs> this is civil engineering on LSD, I swear to God. So I refuse to make a double drawbridge. I, I, I don't care, I would rather just let them get hit by the plane. <gasps> Whatever I build, it's gonna look something like this. Now let's just figure out how to get this out of the way. Now that I think about it, I don't actually need to move both of these bridges out of the way. But I just need to move the top one. If I build the bottom one like this, then I don't need to worry about it. So how do we want to move the top one without making a drawbridge because I stand firm by my decisions? <laughs> Maybe I could do something like this and just push the entire bridge up? I could disconnect here, disconnect here and then we'll just lift up the center section that the plane would have otherwise hit. The hydraulics wouldn't wibble wobble on me, would they? Like, usually when something is a square in this game, it just kind of flops around, you gotta go with the triangle, but I don't know if the hydraulic is quite the same. I mean, there's really only one way of finding out. I definitely need to support these ends, though. That, right? That should probably be good. Okay, it hasn't fallen apart right off the bat. That's a good start. <laughs> and it can support the weight of a single vehicle. Now, for it to transform? You were just supposed to lift it out of the way. What went wrong there? <laughs> it dropped the important part of the bridge into the river, and now it's trying to pull it back up. So, it wasn't a complete failure. Something went horribly Horribly wrong. Oh, there's your problem. This is supposed to be a two. That way it's connected to the part that we want to lift up. Okay, fine. You know what? Live and learn. <laughs> Let's see if that makes a difference. So once again, not falling apart under its own weight, not falling apart under the weight of a vehicle, 
Looking pretty freaking good. No, the wibble wobble. No. <laughs> I called it. Why? Oh, and you're really going to try to lift it back up? Oh my god, I hate squares so much. Why can't you just be rigid for once in your stinking life? Change of plans, we gotta make a stupid old boring drawbridge. God, I hate it so much, but I really don't have a choice. We need this and this to stay connected, and we need this to disconnect. And then that should be fine, right? Hopefully. Watch me eat my words. Watch me resort to a drawbridge just to get stomped out. Okay, it lifts out of the way and doesn't explode or get hit by a plane. Can somebody get the license plate number of that plane? It seems really irresponsible to just be flying a couple of inches above water. I mean, it's technically flying underground. Now, don't screw with me, car, for the love of God. Okay. Well, I don't feel good about it, but a win is a win, I suppose. I tried to do it my way. Oh, well, isn't this absolutely miserable? <laughs> like, they didn't give me any anchor points on either side of the river this time. So we're just gonna have to balance a bridge from a hot air balloon? <laughs> like, that doesn't seem particularly safe. Then again, I, I guess, you know, safety hasn't exactly been my motto for this episode, so... Maybe they hired the right person for the job. I think we need to start with something like that, and then we probably want something like this. Would I want it to arc up or down? Probably up. Probably a little something like that. And then we can fill you in and hope for the best. Other than the fact that it's dangling by ropes from a hot air balloon, I feel like this should work. You know, it's perfectly symmetrical, it's structurally and geometrically sound, it's got a speed bump the size of a golden retriever and it's made out of crackers. Great! Well, that's a quick fix, right? We should be able to do a little something like that, and then it should be a whole lot easier for you to drive straight into the river. This is going to be a problem. What would happen if I also roped it down here? Oh, I would be over budget. Yeah, we don't want that. What if I just did it like this? There we go. Okay, so those ropes should stop it from teetering. It didn't teeter, that's for sure. Maybe I'm overthinking things with the arch again. You know, maybe we just need something nice and straightforward. Something that's easy for you to be able to drive onto and not have it explode. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Why would you explode like two-thirds of the way there? What's weak about that part? It's all the same! Our biggest problem now is that I don't have any more money. Like, I, I, I just can't make improvements for you, dude. I could try a little something like that. That's all you're getting, okay? That's the best I could do. So if you want to get this shipment of lead to the other side of the river, then you had better hold your breath. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. 55% stress. That one little piece of rope went from catastrophic failure to not a big deal. You really think you're clever, don't you, Polybridge 2? You like to think that I'm an idiot, that you can fool me, and that you'll make me rage quit. <laughs> well, I see through your shenanigans this time. We've got two vehicles. One is fast and light, the other is slow and heavy, and they want to go to different levels. Not that big a deal, or it's something we've done a million times before, except we don't have hydraulics. So how are we supposed to separate the two? Well, I'm thinking that we just want to make them jump for it. I'm willing to bet that Chris Angel's dune buggy can get a whole lot more air than the Monopoly man back there. So long as I can build a ramp that doesn't fall apart, then I think I've nailed this one. That looks pretty good. I, I can't imagine that you guys are easily going to be able to crush that. Nope, and you land it. <laughs> and he's just going to chug along. He is going to get to the end of the ramp, right? Yeah, I, I think he's going at a steady clip. All he's got to do now is stick the landing. Oh, sweet God. Oh, thank you. No! <laughs> this game is 
going to be the end of me. All we need are some minor adjustments and everything should be fine. There's no way you can screw this up, right? Good. And you remember to jump this time. Look at you. You just sit back, relax, maybe turn on the radio or something. We got to wait for this guy to chug his way up to the top. Now, I really do appreciate crying laughing, but please, please make it. Yes. I don't care if he does a wheelie to victory as long as it counts. Honestly now, what is with these planes flying so close to the ground? I, I shouldn't have to, nobody should have to deal with this. It doesn't make any sense. I, I, they want me to use hydraulics to get out of the way. Of course they do. Well, you know what? Once again, uh, thank you for the offer, but I refuse. We're going up and over them and this is gonna get hairy. I don't have a whole lot of faith in this, but we are gonna do our best. I don't normally use this much steel on a bridge because I'm a huge cheapskate, but this is a long distance to span with just wood. I don't really know how wood would handle the air current of three fighter jets. Like even for a tiny little motorcycle, I feel like that's necessary, but. Probably not enough, to be perfectly honest. Maybe we can jerry-rig something on the ends? If we do something like this, then we might be able to connect a wire? Yeah, I kind of like the way that looks. We can copy that, flip it, and put it over there. Is that gonna be enough? I have no idea. If it doesn't fall apart under its own weight, then I'm gonna consider it pretty good. Hey! You can't get up that hill. Are you kidding me? You could push it up that hill. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so done. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Polybridge 2, guys. I'm not rage quitting. Honestly, I I'm not. I'm running out of camera space. I've been recording for four hours. These levels take a really long time. I forgot how frustrating this game is. But if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to like the video, let me know, and maybe I'll return to a point where she's actually managed to figure out second gear. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.